Well, this is day two of student protests over at George Washington University. We're seeing increasing crowds forming on campus, also an increased police presence. Students are calling for an end to the war in Gaza and total divestment from Israel. DC News Now's Leonard Ann Fleming has been following these protests, has more tonight from campus. These students and others who have joined them, they say they're not going anywhere. And this crowd has increased in size significantly, but there are growing concerns that police can move in at some point like they have on other college campuses. We are speaking against genocide. We are speaking against violence. We are speaking against the killing and the targeting of innocent people. Dunia is Palestinian and a graduate student at Georgetown University who is protesting the war in Gaza at George Washington. So far on day two, the increasing crowds have not been hindered by police. People who camped Thursday night have not been removed. People are concerned about getting arrested, especially that what we saw in other universities. They held signs. They chanted through bullhorns. And while university officials increased police presence at the protest on Friday, they haven't shut down the activity as promised. People are aware of the risks of even getting arrested, and they decided to be here to fight for what they really care about. Well, I think it just creates an atmosphere of hostility, really. Noah Arizi is Jewish and from London, who attends George Washington as an international exchange student. The protest rhetoric used challenges Jewish safety on campus, he says. By being here with people who are using that language, they are associating themselves with individuals in that way. But Eliana Fishman, who is Jewish and sides with the protesters, says she is worried about police action against the students. I am very concerned about arrests. We have seen extreme state violence at other college campuses. Police have tightened security around this campus, but there's no indication yet of whether they will move in and remove this crowd. Students still tell me that they're here for the long haul. Reporting from George Washington University, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.